Brandon's outside of me head. And here's me thinking Britain had talent. May I borrow your drumstick a moment? Fancy a go? No, I'm going to shove it into my ear for some sweet relief. You make much money doing this. I'm saving up for knee symbols. Why don't you toss me a penny? Why don't I toss you in the river instead? Move along, scum. Enjoy your day, chum. My ears are numb. Rum pa pum pum. That is one tiny door. Hard drugs I can deal with, but littering, bastards! This is almost worse than having to touch that paper clip. Remind me not to put my hand in my pocket. Locked, should have guessed. Damn, I'm good. <clears throat> Bigger on the inside. Well, let's get to it. My God, there's a squatter in here. Eh? Barkles at the gate? You'll never take me alive, you damn dirty Barkles! Oh, who am I kidding? I'm basically dead anyway. He looks older than time itself. Any good war stories, old-timer? Ah, you don't want to hear an old man jabber on about war. Okay, fine. It were done. Air dropped into the thick of it, strapped to this very chair. Me and me unit were cut off. Cornered. Three borkos approaching. Had to smear ourselves with our own faeces to avoid detection. Unkered down in a ditch. Turned out to be two sisters carrying their gerbil to vet. Made mincemeat out of them. Happy times. Tell me another war story. It was early morning, February. The big freeze, we called it. No time for imagination back then. Ship had been stuck in the ice for three weeks. Cold, damn cold. So cold I wasn't able to keep me bearings. I have metallic ones now. Right bugger going through airport security, I'll bet. You wouldn't believe. Innocent human lives are depending on this clock. Pa! None of them ever took the time to talk to me, did they? Screw them! You must get bored arseless locked up in here all day. I came back from the war with a lot of hate, I did. I can't go outside of her. Hate comes out in all sorts of ways. In another life, we could have been best friends. Pull yourself together, man. I need you to get this clank pile up and running. What? Eh? Corporal Flaxer? Elite mission? Borkos? Classified? Port bow? Charge? Retreat? Oh, this is going to be tougher than I thought. Tell me more about the war. Dawn. North Atlantic. We were deep behind enemy lines. Just spotted a large shoal of God off the starboard bow. And then out of nowhere, an Icelandic trawler appeared. It were bearing down on us. No hope of avoiding them. Had to engage. Oh, I still get flashbacks. Night times to worst. I can still taste the salted snacks that they offered us during heated negotiations. What war was you in anyway? You what? All of them buckle. So after the war, how'd you end up here in this clock? Well, tanks, clocks, they're all the same on the inside, really. 
What's wrong with this clock? Thirty years ago, lightning struck that tower and it hasn't run since. Were you in here when it happened? Yep, fried me cable. Thank God for this VCR. Have you tried fixing it? Clappers Leak Preservation Society always banging on at me to fix it. I told him, you try taking a neck cutter to the chest, then see if you feel like fixing the clock. So, now that we're chums, what would it take to get this clock working again? When the lightning hit, it blew the minute hand and the X clear off. What do you need to fix the minute hand? A new one. I mean, what's it need to look like? Any bit of metal about six foot long should do it. Bit of ornamentation never hurt either. Tell me more about this X. You know, the bit of clock between the 1X and the X1. Oh, the Roman numeral 10, you mean? No, the flipping X. Who's the clock expert here? You go find me some parts, and then maybe we'll talk. Rule number one. Never touch a crazy man's junk. At least, not while he's around. Imagine being locked in here for decades with only that video to watch. It's like torture. I was in a POW camp for three years. This is worse. That looks like just about the dullest programme I've ever seen. You haven't had to sit through Midsummer Murders. Heavy duty illegal homemade liquor. I like your style. That moonshine distillery helps me forget all the misery and suffering I've witnessed. Well, I can only imagine the horrors you saw in conflict. I was talking about this damn video. Here's to erasing our memories by the means of fermented liquid. Hold it there, young book. That stuff will erase more than your memory. Sounds perfect. I'm talking about your stomach and probably all the tubes along the way. Take a gander. Well, I'll be buggered. That man replaced in war. Solid iron. Dan, always like that table. Just don't get any on your hands. I lost two fingers just this morning. <laughs>